in sculpture. Yeah. So if you remove all the color, everything you see is there, only it's silver. So the oh, images, okay. the trees, the waves, the sky, clouds, everything is still in the metal. So then I come back on top of that with resins and dyes to make the colors come out. It makes it look holographic, like it's amazing. amazing. Yeah, it's very and then you just have to put like one LED light back there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. it. Uh, I've, done, I've done about 2,000 pieces, so you know I'm pretty skilled at getting the levels of the depth on a lot of them, especially like water. I've done tons of them. Yeah, that's so it just looks like it almost looks 3D. Yeah, that's absolutely It is 3D actually. Oh, because it actually has the sculpture on it. Yeah. Actually, just yeah. Stuff on it. It's just that the tools are smooth, so they don't leave like real hard cuts. Okay. Gotcha. And, uh, but they're still cutting into it. You know, there's like aluminum dust all around me. But yeah, it still looks really smooth. Yeah, well, I put layers of clear on it and sand it. And then clear it again and sand it and polish it. So it's like the same finish as like on a car or an aircraft. Actually, the technique is the same as you use on aluminum on an aircraft. Yeah. Do all your pieces have a light on them like that? Or just um, this piece here, these are originals. And these, like these originals, the turtles painted in illustration style, so that you know the turtle will reproduce the print. And that's that's a print. So this one, you notice the background doesn't have that magic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But but the originals do. Yeah. The prints don't. But for the price point difference, you know, yeah. it makes it more affordable to have the print. So this you could do a custom back, but you could just print on top of it. Right. Yeah. I have printed that image before. Oh, I got it. Oh, yes. Yes.